go. Hi, this is Gordon Bond over here at Bond Arms, and today we're showing the Snake Slayer. And this has actually been one of our most popular models for, for many, many years. Now, with the Texas Defender, uh, for those who've seen that, it has the uh, smaller panel grips, and they don't wrap around. And with the Snake Slayer, you get the really nice wrap around extended grip, so you can actually get full fingers on, on the gun for better grip. Now, a lot of people really like the extended grip versions, especially if they're shooting the 410 and the 45. Just gives you a lot more to hold on to. And uh, th this particular gun weighs about 23 ounces. And it has the uh, trigger guard, which is also removable. It has the rebounding and locking hammer, uh, like all of our guns do. And normally, you know, with a lot of guns, the, the hammer lays right on the firing pins. And we have spring-loaded, uh, re you know, re retractable firing pins. And so, uh, at this point, you know, if, if it was like this, it would be pushing the uh, firing pin in, in, uh, into the chamber on a primer which is not very safe. So one of the patented designs we've had is the rebounding and locking hammer. And you see how it jumped back and locked, and now it won't go forward. And the only way it'll go forward is if I pull the trigger, and then I can, then, and then it'll jump right back. So the, that is one of the primary safeties. And just a really, really neat idea. Now the other main safety is the cross bolt safety. And in this position, it's in a safe position. And Actually, uh, it, it, there, it, it, inside here, it blocks the hammer from going forward, so it, it can't touch the firing pins. And when you push it down this way, now it's in a fire position. And if you can see, there's red right there, and that shows that's in the fire position. And then it will go forward. So that, those are the two primary safeties. This is also a single action gun. So you have to cock the gun every time that you fire it. Now, one of the things with this particular design the, uh, the trigger actually has a down and back motion. I don't know if you can see that very well there, but it has a down and back motion. So if you pull down, it's actually a lot easier to pull than straight back. That'll make it, a, you'll add a lot of trigger pull uh, uh, to that if you pull straight back. Another thing, just a suggestion here, is that when the hammer is cocked, you don't wanna jam your thumb up underneath there and that'll add like 10 pounds of trigger pull. So you wanna give it a little bit of a gap and then just pull ever so slightly down and that'll uh, release that. So the barrel, uh, like all of our guns, opens up with a very easy spring-loaded, uh, and just to show you this is unloaded, uh, just very easy to lock, and also uh, with eighth inch Allen wrench and six spins, we've got 40 different barrels and 20 different calibers you can add to that. So, so very easy to uh, customize your gun. Um, now the snake slayer, this is a three and a half inch barrel and this will chamber a two and a half or three inch 410 and a 45 long Colt. Uh, the snake slayer four actually has the longer barrel like the Ranger and, but it has a snake slayer grip on it. And, and that's the only difference there. So, um, one of the things about the guns, this is a little bit older model, anything below 209,520 on the serial number you'll have the uh, child safety screw up here on this rail right here. And I don't know if you can see that or not. And so what that actually does is when this is a, a 0 0.05 Allen wrench or hex key, and let me see if I can get it in here. So, so it's, it's in position there. And so what I can do is I can put it on safe and then I can turn it down and that locks the safety from moving back and forth. So that's the internal locking mechanism for the gun. So if you're if you're left-handed, uh, sometimes when they're when they're holding the gun, it'll bump the safety and, and knock it off fire and put it in a safe position. You can actually put it in the fire position, lock it down. That way, you won't accidentally bump the uh, safety. So to to release the safety so it can work, you just want to unscrew it ever so slightly. You don't want the Allen the little screw to come out of the uh, uh, where it's flush and then you can, the safety will move back and forth freely. So just a really simple, uh, easy thing to do. Uh, like I mentioned, the trigger guard is also removable. Just a really cool gun. I mean, the, these, the snake slayers just, uh, it, it sort of put us on the map. So uh, ho hopefully you get a chance to check it out. And they are a hoot to shoot.